Hi everybody, how are you doing tonight? Um, this is Robert Hardy. So glad you joined join me tonight. This is the Excelia Live Show, and tonight we we're gonna have the final night for where we're gonna finish off the series that we've been talking about. We've been talking about um, the ingredients for success. We've been talking about this for the last couple, few nights now. Tonight's gonna be our final night. We'll talk about number four. Number four is stay focused stay focused and so the first one we said uh, pay attention to details the other one was we talked about a few nights a couple nights ago was rely on past experiences the one the one, one the, the what we talked about last night <laughs> is learn how to follow instruction and now tonight we're going to talk about how to stay focused so we're going to talk about that one tonight. I should have already come with number two. Stay focused. Okay, so stay focused, or how to stay focused. You know, uh, one thing about in life, you know, we, we are surrounded with so much distraction. You know, we have, you know, TV, we have computer we have our cell phone we have you know move movie theaters we can go to we have sports we can sports and activities in outside the house we have work we have kids we, we have business you know I mean, those of you in the business and stuff have your own business so we have all these things that just told us a distraction you know especially when it comes to what we want what we what we want to accomplish in our lives you know we set goals and we we want to work towards achieving those goals but there's so much distraction there's you know there's what i what what, what not not i call but then i know a lot of people call this 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 um the uh, what do you call it the silver no the, um Oh, I forgot the name of it. When it comes to me, I will, I will say it. But um, the oh yeah, you know the shiny object symptoms, the shiny object symptom, where people you're going after every shiny object, you know, and you're chasing you're chasing one opportunity after another and stuff like that. All of those are forms of distraction of of you losing focus enough what you are to what you want to accomplish in your life so uh, how do you stay focused how do you when you know when you when you're working towards your goals and your dreams how do you stay focused how do you get rid of the distraction and stuff like that how do you you know have a tunnel vision so to speak on what is it you want and what how you're going to go about doing it how you're going to go about accomplishing it and um you know one of the things that that i do personally like i'm going to use myself as an example again because you know i'm the i'm the only person i know of to use it as an example but you know there's some there's some areas in my life that i need to stay focused on where i need to get some things done like for example you know i was talking to a co-worker of mine early, just early this evening at work I, I was at work earlier this evening and we're talking about exercising and going to the gym that's one area that i need to really focus on i need to prioritize there i need to focus on going to the gym more often so i can get back into shape um so that's one thing that i need to focus on and don't let the distraction of life you know work uh you know kids you know family life you know business and stuff like that get you distracted and get, let you let me let, let it lose focus on what is it what is it i want so that's just one area in my life but another area in my life where i'm kind of achieving some things i'm trying to make it a uh, progress and trying to stay focused is in the area of, of well one thing one one thing is the, doing these live videos you know i come on here and do these live videos so that's one example but another example is me I'm working on my book you know I, you know i'm working on my book and um just staying focused on that you know so it, it's it's so easy to get distracted and you know it's so easy to get so busy sometimes a whole day go by and i don't didn't have a time to spend any, any of that time in a day to to really do some writing right because you just get busy with, with 
sometimes mundane thing just like everyday thing that just busy you just have a busy day you have to work and you work then you have you know come home you have family life things that you have to help look after your you know things at home that you have to help out you just you can't just come come home and not <laughs> interact with the people you live with right so you have to do that and so Anyways, I'm just kind of babbling on here. I'm just, <laughs> just, just babbling on in, in a way. But how do you really stay focused? How do you really, you know, stay focused in, in order to get things done? And so we, I came up with a couple of things here. I'm not, not, I'm not, I don't want tonight's video to be a very long video, actually. <laughs> I'm already five minutes into it. But I, as, as I said, I was going to make tonight be a really sh a short video, a uh, quick video. So one um i call it get rid of destruction get rid get rid of destruction i'm not gonna put the whole word there but get rid of destruction you know get rid of destruction if you Whatever destruction is to you, you know, as, as I mentioned a few things there before, like like TV, your computer, your phone, you know, any kind of electronic device, if, if, if that's in a way distracting you from achieving the goals and your dreams, get rid of distraction. Learn to recognize or um, recognize or know what those distractions are because sometimes some things can be a distraction but it, you don't see it as a distraction so really learn to recognize and really um, know what your distractions are and try your best to and if you can't get get rid of it completely at least um, minimize it minimize your destruction if you can't completely get rid of their destruction at least minimize it you know so this doesn't um have that much effect on you secondly is is um secondly is uh prioritize prioritize oh. a priority Priority or prioritize, you know. Again, you you got to you got to learn how to, you know. I just li finished listening to the book by Stephen Covey. L listen to the audio version of the book um, by Stephen Covey. Oh, I should say I finished reading <laughs> the audio version of the book by Stephen Co Covey. Um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and um, I just finished listening to it in my car. You know, as I said, I listen to CDs in my car when I'm driving. So the book I just listened to it maybe a week ago now. I just finished listening to it. But anyways, in the book you talk about priority. You, know, you have different. You break down your things in different categories, and talk about you know, you know, priority. And then oh, I forgot how you how you listed it. But anyways, you can go back and you can go and read that book. A really good book. But you learn how to prioritize things. You know, you have four different categories that he had um, put things in. So um, just learn to prioritize things. That's one way to help you keep focus. Make a do to do list and put the the most priority things on that on, on, on the head of that thing and and the less prioritized things on the bottom of the list. So you know you could go in order of that. So make a to do list and prioritize things. Okay. So you get rid of destruction or if you can't get rid of destruction all at once, at least lim um, minimize it minimize the destruction to prioritize prioritize things you know um prioritize things also um focus on your why focus on your why are you doing what it is you're doing why like for example I'm writing this book and, and, and you know sometimes I, as I said sometimes I can go a whole day and I don't, don't spend any time in writing doing any kind of writing on the book and so it's sometimes you have to focus on your why why are you doing what it is you're doing remember that focus on that focus on your why why is it why is it you're doing what is it you want to accomplish what is it you want to focus on and remember why you need to focus on that thing why remember your why 
So whatever your why is for you, remember that. You know, remember your why. If it's a goal that you want to accomplish, why you want to accomplish that goal? You know, if it's something you want to change in your life, why do you want to change it? You know, so remember your why. Remember why you're doing what it is you're doing and why you want to change, why you want a different results. So, so I'm gonna, just going to leave you guys with these three things. Again, I didn't want tonight's video to be a very long video. Um, it's already 10 minutes. Hi, Marcy. <laughs> Hi, Marcy. Thanks for joining me. I'm actually going to be cutting out my live videos pretty soon here because I didn't want to do a, li a long one. So you stay focused. And, and um, this, these, three, these three things is how I do what I do to stay focused. One, I try to get rid of distraction. And again, a distraction could be, you know, electronic things like TV, computers, your, your cell phone, um, just everyday mundane things. If if it's something you can't get rid of it, rid of completely, at least minimize it. Minimize the distraction. To prioritize, learn how to prioritize things. Again, I wish I could remember exactly how Stephen Covey mentioned, um, said it in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. But I know you have, you have four different categories of prioritizing things in those different f f uh, categories. So if if you want to re a really good book to read and on how to stay focused, and um, read that book by Stephen Covey. Stephen Covey, Seven Habits Habits of Highly Effective People. That's a really, really good book. So you learn to prioritize. And the second thing is, the third thing is, remember your why. Why, it, why you're doing what it is you're doing. Why you want to make changes. Why you want to accomplish that goal. Why are you, you know, working towards... Uh, what it is you ever you're working towards the project the project you're working on why it is just remember the why behind what you're doing what you what it is you're doing oh great <laughs> yeah thanks Marcy but well, great and your Toastmasters great and look that's good news I've, I, I've actually haven't gone to my Toastmasters now for a few weeks because of mainly because of my work but I'm planning to go next week I almost went this week but um, things didn't work out but yeah it's great that you join the Toastmasters Club Marcy that's good news it's very good I'm sure you'll like it hi Dam Damien thanks for joining me and um, thanks for all those love Marcy <laughs> Okay, anyways, I'm going to cut it off here tonight because I didn't want this video to be very long and I just wanted to show, to go over these three uh, ways of how you can stay focused and focus on your goals and your dreams and accomplish what it is you want to accomplish. Stay focused. So this is uh, the last night where we talk about um, the ingredients, uh, the ingredients, The ingredients for success. We just so this is our last. And we're doing a, that was a little mini series. So that was a fortnight and a last night. And this tomorrow we're going to talk about something different and maybe another get into another um, mini series again on a different topic. So join me again tomorrow. Um, those of you who've been watching my video and I know um, again I'm going to make it put it out there another announcement. I'm almost finished the book that I'm working on. Um, I didn't get a chance to do any writing on it today because, of you know, again, just being busy. This is an excellent um, example of how I sometimes I said a whole day can go by and they get a chance to do any writing. And today was one of those days. So, but I'm still working on the finishing touches of my book. So it's going to come out soon and I'm going to get it edited and hopefully get it published pretty soon. Also, uh, so just keep I'm gonna keep you guys updated on that also I'm gonna have my first live seminar I'm I'm booking a date I'm looking at the date in sometime in March it's gonna be my first two-hour seminar so I'm, I'm inviting everybody in my local area if you live in the greater Vancouver area of BC come out and, and support me uh, I need your support it's gonna be a free event I'm not gonna charge anything um, so just come out and I need your support and it's going to be just for two hours. 
and we're going to talk about um, your mindset, talk about goal setting, and start about accomplishing more than you actually are in your life. Not settling where you are, but trying going to the next level. Um, it's going to be a, an Excel Your Life event, the company that I'm trying to trying to accomplish. So I'm looking at the date between March 14, 15, or 16. And um, it's going to be two hours, one of those three days when I, when I really am going to book the room probably sometime this week. But once I know it, have the official date and time, I'll let you guys know. I'm inviting everybody in my local area who watches my live videos to come out and support me and also just spread the word around too. I actually was talking to someone at work today. She didn't know that I did these live videos and I was talking to her about these live videos and she said, wow, I didn't know you do this. <laughs> and, so, and then I told her about the, my upcoming live seminar that I'm planning to do in March. And she said, yeah, keep me posted. If I, if you know, I'll come out, if um, come out and support you for sure. So she was all excited. And so, Anyway, spread the word like that too. Just let people know that I'm going to put on my first live seminar. And everybody in this local area, if you live in the lower mainland of Vancouver, the Vancouver, greater Vancouver area, please come out and support me. It's going to be in Surrey, one of the Surrey public libraries. So I'm going to keep it, again, I'm going to keep you guys posted on that. Keep it posted on my book when it's going to be released. If you want to start res uh, reserve a, a first copy of that book, you know, it's let me know so again please like these videos please share these videos and please leave a comment on these videos marcy thanks for joining me oh thanks for all those um yes i will keep it up awesome excited for you robert thank you marcy <laughs> appreciate all those comments and um you know you're one of the person that i really look up to and admire marcy i know you're doing great things too in your in your business and in in what you're doing and uh, I, I looked up to you and admired, admire you. One of you're one of my admirers, and and um, someone I looked up to as hey, she's a good example, someone someone to follow. So, thank you, thank you for your support, Marcy. Really appreciate it. Anyways, until tomorrow, where we talk a different topic. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Please join me again tomorrow. God bless you. I love you. Peace.